I'm going to have a go at making a very simple version of hooker duck or hooker duck, which is a common, well known amusement arcade game. But for a pond, I'm going to use this. For the fishing rod, I'm just constructing something out of some junk we found. And for ducks, Springs that we found have been dumped on the street. Okay. So today we've been making old TVs which you can see being fly tipped a lot, sofas and um, fridges. So how many fridges are you making at the moment? Six. Six to start with and then I might do nine if we've got time. I've run out of white vinyl so we're going to have to go for possibly Smeg. I thought this was a fairly good... Uh, Smeg fridge colour, although I can't imagine as many smeg fridges that get flooded. It's a fridge. So we've been making games all week at Bagator in Easton. Cool! Rubbish stilts! Oh, they're not rubbish. And we've been taking the games out onto the streets, into the parks and into the schools of the surrounding area. On Wednesday we went to Bannerman Road School where there's a summer school and we took six of our games and we tested some of them out with the kids who were there. It's just made all out of um, recycled rubbish and it's to do with fly tipping because everyone's forgot that it's a thing. It becomes invisible to people so this is about getting them seeing it and thinking about it in a fun kind of way. So today we have been showcasing the games that we've been making all week in our game inventing workshops at Make Sunday Special. We're inside in Trinity upstairs and we've got a group of kids and we're playing a whole load of carnival games with a fly ticking theme. Games like this here. Drop the rat down there and then you ready to splat? One, two, three. We've been playing all of the games here. What's your favourite game today? Uh, fridge skittles. There's a bucket hooked onto a gate. You've got to try and knock down all of the cardboard fridges. I really like the game skittles and they've used rubbish in a really good way. Teaching children positive habits through games is a really nice way of getting them engaged. Whilst they're playing the games you can talk to them a bit about how they feel about rubbish and fly tipping and what they think might be possible solutions to the problem. We're making our own game. The next stage of this project is we're going to build a giant transformer bin which is a huge um, big community waste disposal bin that's got a massive uh, tipper game of Eastern in it. So that's a school there. I think this is... Look, it looks like the warehouse over there, behind this bin. What do you think the game's about? No joke, people are... Some people are throwing things too much. Like throwing, like food too much and like like about it's about like recycling and an environment. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Today we're gonna to show you the the, the bin made out of city. Oh Hello, this is Green Capital. So what do you think the whole idea is about then? Um it's about um raising it's about sending this to the council and making him happy. 